Hey everyone, happy Friday. I just made French fries from scratch for the first time and despite following the instructions very carefully, I managed to burn them kind of badly. So the perfect lighting I had lined up with the sun has now dimmed and I'm gonna wing it. My name is Curtis Bergeson, AKA Collage the World. I'm a handmade collage artist. I live in Denver, Colorado and I'm from the Washington DC area. I can hear some people off my balcony sounding a little irate in the background. They probably could use a little more art in their life. Anyway, I wanted to share a few pieces of my art that I've created over the past weeks and sort of month and a half. And I figured I'd break them down and talk about some elements of them. Hopefully you'll all find it interesting. If you'd like to get in touch with me on Facebook or Instagram, I'd love to hear from you. My handle is at collage the world. And uh, I'm a member of Denver Art Society. I joined in December. It's been a really rewarding experience to volunteer and connect with various artists and people from all walks of life and mediums, and hope to see some of you in person in the near future. All right, let's check out some of my art. Cut and paste, glue and tape, wahoo! All right, here we are in my studio. This is where I cut things up and try and arrange them together in new exciting ways. Here's a collage I made a while ago. Good times as you can see. And more importantly, Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I am the Pumpkin King. So this is where I spend a lot of my time trying to cut things and rearrange them in new exciting ways. As you can see, I have a work in progress. Any Tiger King fans? Rawr! My usual tools, scissors, and in second place for cutting the blade. I also use rubber cement and paper cement and scotch tape and the old ruler, trusty friend. This is where I spend a lot of time frequently with music, trying to let the creative juices flow. This piece is called Zucchinis in the Night. No, it's not. It's called The Illusion of Safety. It's nine pieces of paper, 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. And the pieces of paper are mostly scraps from leftover collages that I've already made in the past. This is not my usual style. It's very different from what I usually do. And I got the name The Illusion of Safety from a band I love called Thrice. Uh, their sophomore album was of the same name. Awesome punk rock hardcore stuff from California. Music, marijuana, and nature are keeping me sane. This is one of the more autobiographical titles I've made. And I finished this piece on April 2nd. It's three pieces of paper. And the animal print in the goggles is in fact from right here, which I cut out of a magazine from the Wild Animal Sanctuary. If you're not familiar with the Wild Animal Sanctuary, once all this Corona stuff is gone, go check it out with your friends, your family, your lovers, whoever. It's an amazing place not too far outside of Denver. Next time a Portuguese man of war or miniature schnauzer tells you to wash your hands, you can laugh defiantly and tell them, ha, hash your wands. I've been collaging for about three years now and I never use letters or text in my art. And here we go. It's an anomaly. I made this on April 7th. Pretty self-explanatory. We've all been washing our hands a lot and being told by others to wash your hands and hash your wands. Harry Potter, give me a ring. Teenage Mutant Ninja Truffles. This is about the size of a business card, three pieces of paper. I've had this double turtle head cut for quite some time and I finally got a chance to use it. That's one exciting thing about collage. You never know when something you've cut from long ago might come in handy. After all, who doesn't love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Turtles in the half shell. Turtle power. <sighs> Here we have Obama 2020. I made this on April 16th. It's six by six inches. I don't have the original anymore. I mailed it off to Rochester, New York to the Rochester Contemporary Art Center for their annual six by six exhibition. The window to submit art is closed, but put it on your calendar for next year. It's a pretty incredible outlet. And if you're interested, you can give me a shout or look it up online for more info. I miss you, Barack. 
If you're a collage artist and a plant enthusiast and you don't make a 420 themed collage to post on April 20th, you're a bad person. This is called Weed Breath, three pieces of paper. I cut this face out of a New Yorker magazine some years ago and finally got a chance to use it. And my favorite part of this is the Nug scarf. I did a couple slits and slid through this Nug and you never know when you might need a little something to brighten your day. Thank you all for listening and watching my paper art extravaganza. And it's been a real honor to spend some of your Friday night with you. Hope you feel inspired to make some of your own collage art or tell someone else to do it. Anybody can glue things together. And it's a great outlet for people young, old, and middle-aged like myself. All right, y'all. Be safe. Hang in there. Keep creating, keep listening to good music, and be nice to people. All right, and hash your wands. <laughs>